This video is an introduction to graphs, so we're going to talk about what graphs are and some of the terminology, and in the video following this, we're going to talk about more terminology because unfortunately, there's just a lot of terminology when it comes to graphs. So a graph is really just a set of vertices and edges and vertices cannot be the empty set, which means you have to have at least one vertex for it to be a graph, uh, but edges can be the empty set because it could be that you have vertices that are not connected. And notice the way that we write that, VE. Um, and essentially we're saying edges are gonna connect either one or two vertices and we tend to call those endpoints. So I've drawn an example for you here, and this is just called a simple graph it's simple because each edge connects two different vertices and no two edges connect to the same two vertices. So let me give you an example of how it would not be a simple graph. Let's say I added something that went from B to B called a loop. Going from B to B means now this is no longer a simple graph. Or if I had a, an additional edge connecting vertices A and D, then that would be considered a, not a simple graph as well. So either of those things would make it so that it's not a simple graph. Just a couple of things with terminology. There's just a lot of terminology when we're talking about graphs because it's something probably that you haven't studied before. So first let's look at a multigraph. A multigraph has multiple edges containing the same two or connecting the same two vertices. So here I've got an edge connecting AB, and here I have another edge connecting AB, and that's what makes this a multigraph. Um, a loop, however, again, we talked about that a little bit. A loop connects a vertex to itself. Um, a multigraph actually would not contain any of those loops, but a pseudograph is what I have pictured here which contains both multiple edges and loops. So it, can, can, it could include one or both. We've already spoken a little bit about digraphs or directed graphs. And this is just a graph where each edge is associated with a pair of vertices. So the directed edge associated with AB begins at A and ends in B, etc. So if we were to list the vertices included in this directed graph, we would have AB because A goes to B. So I've used this one. And I would also have AC because A goes to C. And then looking at B, I've got one from B to A. So BA would be two points here. B to C. And then from C, I have C to B. And I also have C unto itself. So these would be the ordered pairs that would be associated with this particular directed graph. So hopefully I can help you sort out some of this terminology to make sure that we're on the right track here. So I've got several types of graphs listed, simple graph, multigraph, pseudograph, simple directed graph, which we didn't talk about explicitly, directed multigraph, and a mixed graph. And we're gonna talk about um, what kind of properties these graphs will have. So we know a simple graph does not have directed edges. It's just regular edges, so there's no arrows. Can I have multiple edges on a simple graph? No, I cannot because otherwise it would not be simple. And can I have loops? No, because the definition of a simple graph is essentially no multiple edges and no loops. Now we talked about a multigraph. A multigraph said you can have multiple edges connecting the same two vertices. So again, still not directed, but yes, multiple edges are allowed, but I still cannot have loops. A pseudograph is still not directed, but it can have both multiple edges and loops. So now let's talk about a directed graph. A simple directed graph, of course, is going to have directed edges. Now, can I have multiple edges? Again, this is simple. So it's just like this simple graph. The only difference is that this one cannot have multiple edges, or sorry, directed edges. And of course, a simple directed graph would have directed edges. But I still cannot have multiple edges and I still cannot have loops. 
a directed multigraph, again, is going to be exactly like this guy, where yes, I'm going to have directed edges, and yes, I can have multiple uh, edges allowed, which is why I'd say multigraph, but no, I still cannot have loops. And then, of course, I have a mixed graph. And so this is both. I can have both directed and non-directed edges. I can have multiple loops, uh, multiple edges, and I can have loops. So let me give you an example of what that might look like. Let's say I've got, I'm going to make a real simple one, A, B, C. So it's possible that I have a directed edge, but maybe a couple of non-directed edges as well, and maybe a directed loop, which doesn't matter if it's directed or not because it's a loop, but you get the idea that I can have, it's just sort of a hodgepodge. You can have anything that you want in a mixed graph. Up next, we're going to take a look at some graph terminology.